So this is the lock assembly that I cleaned up and I'm soaking it in ATF right now to prevent any problems. And this was on this side. Okay, so also lubricated a lot of stuff inside uh, already. So, um, and then I'm starting to lubricate everything, all the tracks and the window uh, regulator and all the other stuff. As you guys know, I already did uh, the doorstop and stuff. And this thing right here, I'll show you. This came out from the driver's side and this was broken. So when you turn the key, nothing happens. You know, there's no, you don't feel a spring tension or anything like that. And this is the piece that just broke off, uh, literally. So this really sucks. I'm gonna have to go to the dealership and order a new one. But in the meantime, I'm gonna actually install this one on the driver's side because you can interchange them. So yeah, I'll install this one on the driver's side and then I'll order a new one for this side. So I'll be done. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just, you know, take care of the door panel, clean the door panel up, uh, which I already did, but I wanna do it a little more and more thorough and then afterwards we're going to retouch all these guys and it's supposed to have a film right here so i'll probably try to find the film uh, to actually put on um instead of just these i want to find like a water barrier film uh, i think i have some in stock but yeah so i'm just really busy working on this side today Okay, here's what I did to this door. I removed the door panel, uh, cleaned the door panel up, and then right here inside, um, I actually uh, lubricated everything, uh, added a bunch of grease everywhere uh, inside, like I usually do, and then I lubricated all these linkages, added grease. Um, same thing with the door lock inside, actually had it all out. I was spraying ATF everywhere, and, um, as you can see lots of grease right there and actually greased up the window regulator okay so that's all nicely uh, greased up um, the only thing is I wasn't able to get to those parts of the door so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use fluid films actually lubricate everything there and just protect everything preserve everything protect from rust so yeah that's what we're gonna do right now I'm about to spray everything inside of this bad boy and uh, just to ensure everything stays good in there. Just like so. Here's what's happening right now. Mm, everything behind this panel is all protected, preserved with grease and fluid film. Okay. Um, this is all back together. The speaker. Um, <laughs> some aftermarket speaker you know i'm not gonna mess too much with it and i also uh, you know put the silicone sealant so this is drying up right now and all these the film right here okay um and yeah i'm actually gonna be trying to find factory one i mean this is a factory one but they just like cut these pieces off i don't know um it's supposed to be like a whole full um moisture film uh but anyways so another thing what i'm doing right now is uh i pulled the seal uh just to inspect for rust and it's actually very clean there's no rust i'm gonna clean the seal i'm gonna preserve i'm gonna put grease in there or i'm gonna actually put fluid film i haven't decided yet i might just put the fluid film and uh everywhere there um you know, so it's gonna be nice and good. It's wet right now because some of the powers, the, the uh, automatic transmission fluid came over there or just like got in there uh, from me spraying all these things and locks and everything. So I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. I'm gonna spray fluid film in there and wheel bearing grease.
I'll be installing this pedal, uh, which is in a good shape. And this is all intact. And the bushing is not broken off because this one is actually, it's like broken off. The bushing is like gone. Uh, I'll show you. So first I'm gonna remove this clip. So this is what happened. I don't know how. It just broke off, literally. It's crazy. So I'll be putting this one on, but first we need to remove this bushing out of here. And uh, it might be a challenge. Because it seems like The inner part of it is just not spinning. It's just... Yeah. So I need to figure this stuff out here. So the way to take this bushing off is you're gonna have to basically spin it towards the way where, you know, it lines up with so if you see, this one has, you can spin it, right? And then you see this, like a T. So this bushing has a spot where you, it lines up with that. So if you go like this and line it up, and then you can pull it off. Just wiggle and then it's going to come off. There you go, that's it. And then you can put some lubricant in there or like uh, wheel bearing grease and then you're gonna be ready to install the, your new pedal. So as you can see, this bushing, uh, it just, it's supposed to be attached, but it's like broken off. I don't know how, like, like right there should be like that so it's not good we're gonna install this new one this is all good to go and first i'm gonna go ahead and lubricate uh some of these spots put wheel bearing grease in there okay i put some grease on the bottom mount and also on the top and now i'm gonna grab our new assembly and then again this, we're gonna line this up with that guy. So this is gonna go like this, like so. And then after you're all the way in, you're gonna turn it like so. And finally, you're gonna install it right onto this mount carefully like that and then at the end you're gonna install your clip clip just goes in there I just gotta press and that's it and look at that this is nice and firm now Okay, make sure you press it one way, the other way, and then it's all good. Okay, that's it, guys.